During the 1960s, there was one British female singer on everyone's lips. Sandy Shaw topped the charts, went on to become the first British person in history to win the Eurovision Song Contest with Puppet on a String. I wonder if one day that you'll say that you care If you say you love me madly, I'd gladly be there Like a puppet on a string Still such a great song. Originally from Dagenham, she's now been given an honorary degree by South Essex College and she's popped in to tell us all about it. Wonderful to meet you, Sandy. Oh, How sorry, it... Dr Shaw. Sorry, Dr Shaw. Thank How you. does it feel, Dr Shaw? I must get that right. It feels amazing. <laughs> it feels so nice and especially from Essex. Yeah. From Essex University to sort of like be recognised and acknowledged by them. Um, how did it feel when you got that phone call? Because, of course, it's your home county. So, yeah. them say, we want to do this for you. How was that for you? It was just so nice because I, I used to hate school and I sort of, like, learnt through the University of Life rather than through a proper university. So it was kind of acknowledgement of my life choice, as it were. How does that compare to winning the Eurovision Song Contest back in 67? Oh, this is much better. <laughs> I love the outfit and everything. The whole thing is just fantastic. <laughs> but giving away all the other degrees to people is like, oh, my arm at the end of it. Yeah. I had to remember everybody's name. But all the students loved being given their, doc their, their uh, bachelor's, whatever, yeah. Bachelor of Arts things by me. And their MAs and their BAs and their... So it's, it's, it, was, it was a lovely moment for you, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was yeah. great. That, and being with all these young students that had actually worked hard to get their degrees. Mind you, I've worked hard all my life, so... Absolutely. You I mean, you had, I believe, eight top ten uh, UK singles and... You oh, I think I've had more than that. Oh, you've had more than that. My mistake. You've had way <laughs> more than that. I've had way more than that. <laughs> but a lot of your singles you also translated into uh, different languages yep. according to the countries that they were being played out in. Yeah. So you did a lot in the industry. How does that compare to the industry now, do you think, in terms of the way that a lot of kids are getting into music? Well, we used to sell more records, so the numbers have gone right down. Uh, so um, that must be a bit distressing. So, um, but there's lots of really great young talent coming through now, especially women. Women are really shining now, and I hope that I've sort of like laid some of the foundations for that to happen. I mean, people like Emily Sande, I mean, like, she's brilliant. There's so yeah. many like that. No, but of course, you did help to, to pave the way. And there are things that a lot of artists are doing now that you were doing back in 1967 and 68. Things like having your own fashion label, which artists are only just starting to twig on to now as a way of making money. Yeah. But you did it at, ages ago. Yes, I did. And I actually did the designs. I just didn't put my name to it. <laughs> I was a bit more like Victoria. But... Yeah. I didn't marry a fit footballer. Oh, dear. That's where I not went to wrong. worry, not to worry. <laughs> but anyway, will, will we be seeing you writing more uh, stage shows or more books? What's in the future for you? Well, I'm just carrying on with psychotherapy because I really love working with other artists. And um, I represent um, all the recording artists, all the UK recording artists in Europe yeah. and with the government here. And um, yeah, standing up for the rights, man. Good. Well, congratulations again, Dr. Shaw. Oh, An thank absolute you. pleasure Didn't to it meet sound you. Nice? It does just roll off the tongue. Yes. Thanks very much, Sandy. Thank you. Bye.